So uh, we do have a good bit of cloud cover still across North Texas, but we've got a break from the rain and storm activity, at least for most of us, certainly seeing that in North Dallas right now. 64 degrees, a north wind at nine miles an hour. We're tracking a weak cold front that's starting to move in. It's going to be stronger tonight, though, and we'll certainly notice it into tomorrow. We've got temperatures the farther north you are, where you've got that northerly breeze, you see temperatures in the 50s right now. We're in the mid 60s in the Metroplex right now. The farther south you are, we've got mid and upper 60s. Uh, but of course, we still have a little rain ongoing to the north and east as well. So part of the reason why those temperatures are a little bit cooler at the moment. But you notice Sherman, Gainesville, Bowie, northerly winds right now, Bridgeport and Denton, Fort Worth seeing some of the northerly winds as well. So we've got this front that's going to be working its way in. It's not too breezy right now. It's going to be very windy tonight and into tomorrow, and it's really not going to have anything to do with stormy weather, uh, though the next couple of hours we could see a little bit more storm activity. Right now there are just some showers to the north and east, but you notice in our hour-by-hour -hour forecast for this afternoon, rain chances at 20% as we head through 2 o'clock, then 30% by 3 and 4 o'clock. Temperatures should be able to get into the mid and upper 60s. A couple of spots to the south could get into the low 70s, uh, but as these winds start to pick up. The temperature's going to struggle to warm, and at the same time, we have the chance for some isolated strong to severe storms this afternoon. Coverage is not going to be as widespread as it was last night or even this morning, but once again, especially considering we had record rainfall yesterday at DFW, so flooding is still going to be a concern with any storms that develop this afternoon, gusty winds and even some small hail as well. Diminis and Brittany talked about that isolated tornado threat being low today, but not zero. The threat, though, is shifting east this afternoon, so I think we're out of the, we're in the clear as far as a tornado threat goes. Then, of course, into this weekend, we're not expecting any wet weather. It's just going to be dry and cooler. But just looking at the Storm Prediction Center, and again, this is updated now that all of that storm activity is moving to the east, we could still get a couple of storms to pop up this afternoon, hail, gusty winds, and heavy rain being the threats, but you're seeing this level two slight risk shifting farther to the east, so parts of East Texas, Louisiana, into Mississippi, Alabama, and even some of the Florida panhandle as well, now under that level two slight risk. So looking towards midday, you still have these showers to the north and east. Those are pushing away, and then as this cold front continues to work its way in, you get some storm development. Here we are at 3 o'clock from Cook County all the way to Bosque County, seeing these isolated storms. As they move east, they should be weakening some, but still some heavy rain will be possible. And then as we get towards 10 o'clock, most of us should be dry. We are expecting dry conditions into this weekend, but much cooler conditions. Tomorrow it's going to be breezy. Uh, we're going to have temperatures that are sitting, uh, temperatures that are going to be sitting in the 50s in the afternoon with a north northwest wind. And, uh, and then, of course, we spring forward into Sunday, not into Monday. Temperatures in the morning in the 30s, Ken, but in the afternoon, we'll be in the 60s.